This is the most dangerous thing that any parent can do that's got teenage children, particularly daughters. I'd rather face a ball with just one dog swimming off it than being wakened by a 14 year old daughter up at 4.45, it's quarter to five in the morning. That's got to be done. Oh, you're awake! You okay? No. Honey, we talked about it last night. We're going hunting. Dad, it's 4.45. Sorry? It's 4.45. What are you doing? I talked about this with you last night. If you want to get a deer, you've got to get up early. And it's actually late. We should be already in the truck by now. We're actually running late. You good to go? No. Okay. Do you want to go pig hunting instead? No, I want to sleep instead, Dad. Honey, I've given away all the meat we have in our freezer for people for Christmas that don't have meat, and we can get it. So, and we talked about this, all right? We already talked about it last night. I said to you, I'm going to wake you up. There's little bunnies jumping around everywhere. Just go get one of those. Is that really what you want? Yeah. If I do that, then you help me make an outdoor oven like we talked about the other day. You wanted to do that, so. Because you're not going to waste a day, alright? Okay. Will I get to sleep? I'll be in an hour with your breakfast, alright? No. What? I am not getting up at 6. Um, I don't know. I'm getting up at like 10.30. Alrighty. Your choice, baby. I'll be back later on, alright? Bye. I thought that went uh, pretty good actually. I like rabbit. Rabbit it is. Well it looks like it's bunny for tea for my daughter and me. The one seven. This is a savage. I've got it suppressed. It's not a flash suppressor but it does all right. And uh, it's stainless because things get wet around here. Um, so we'll crank into it. Pop the bolt in. Actually before I do that we'll just check she's empty. Nothing up the spout. Chopper next door going to blow the water off the cherries. Just pop it in half, half bolt there. The uh, mag on these holds five. And uh, I'm using 20 grain. These, uh, these rifles are extremely fast. One of these suckers comes out of the muzzle at 2,375 feet per second when it comes out the muzzle. At 100 metres it's still travelling at 1775 feet per second or 76 feet per second. It's bloody fast and at 200 metres it's still coming out at well, over 1300 feet per second. So she's a really, um, I've only got near five, I don't think I'm going to get any more in there. So there's the, the mag. Mag goes in last. Anyway, enough uh, yakking. We'll go and knock over a bunny or two. There's a rabbit there. It's a bit small. Catch a baby quail. Small rabbits around. One down here too. But I'm looking for something bigger. Maybe we change from rabbit to here. We'll stick with the plan. Go with the rabbit. Let's 
stick them on down. Oh geez. The old one seven makes a mess of it. We should be able to get a bit of meat out of this for dinner tonight. Just put the skin off here. Best way is just to pull the bastard apart like this. Skinned. My pups have grown up on rabbit, hare, possum, a bit of mutton, a few dog biscuits and dog roll, but mostly stuff I've killed myself. A lot of possum. So every time I shoot a rabbit for myself, they think they're going to get fed. This time they're mistaken. Although they might get the insides. There we go. And I know some dogs are going to love to eat that. Clean as a whistle. Well, almost. Well, that's all the uh, goodness for us humans. This stuff here is all the goodness for the pups. As you can hear, it's a pretty windy day, so I'm making an oven inside the bank. Or at least a fireplace, sort of a cross between a fireplace and an oven. There'll be a bit of heat contained in here, but the main reason is to stop the wind from blowing the fire around, because it's getting into summer and it's not a good time of year to have outdoor fire, so it's sort of a half indoor, half outdoor fire. <laughs> Chances are that you have had trouble in your life Chances are that you have had trouble in your mind In your mind
just found this here in the uh, back of the shed and I also found this which I guess is an old pair of sort of uh, I don't know what you call them, maybe uh, not pliers, but a blacksmith would use them. Sort of like uh, grabbing hot coals and stuff and moving around, so that could be handy for us. So what's the reason we're making this fire and doing all this, honey? Um, so we can cook a rabbit. Yeah, but we're at home, we can cook it on the stove, so why are we doing it here? I mean, right now we're on the farm, we're at the back of the farm. So why are we doing it out here? Because it's cool. Because it's cool. And the other reason we're doing it is why? Like practice? Practice, exactly. We're doing it as a practice because the world will change. Maybe not in my lifetime, but in your lifetime. One day food will be hard to get. The world population is exploding right now, and uh, man isn't controlling it. And if man doesn't control it, then nature will start to control it eventually. That's what nature does. She doesn't care about how she does it either, eh? Hmm. It's the uh, fittest survival and the fittest weakest die. Um, survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest, thanks honey, here. Yeah. Your dad's not that bright with his words, but survival of the fittest. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, that's why we're, uh, we're learning to do stuff back to how we probably did it 200 years ago. Because one day, the luxury of cooking uh, on gas or electricity may not be around in my daughter's lifetime. In fact, I don't think it will be around. I think there's going to be a few changes. So this is a fun thing to do, but it's also something that will install in my daughter's mind. And when I'm no longer around, hopefully she remembers everything, particularly the hunting aspect of it, because if you can't hunt the meat, you've got nothing to cook. Dry gorse is good to get the fire going. Don't know if you can see that, but that'll be a nice sort of a, a, an area for the air to get underneath. We'll build our fire on top of that. Mosquitoes will be coming soon, so we'll have to put some some uh, more clothes. And I want to show you guys something though why I'm doing this. Um, on my belt when I go away, one of the things I carry is I carry a saw blade, just a, sh a small one like that, and a pair of vice grips, which I've got somewhere down here. Not a big pair, but a pair big enough to do the job, like that. A pair of vice grips you can use for so many things in the bush. One of the things you can do is you can make a saw out of it. Now I've got a saw with a handle. Now I don't, I don't need to actually cut wood because I've got uh, stuff here at home, but if I wasn't, if I was in the bush, this is what I'd be using for cutting, like this. And if I was for cooking my rabbit tonight, I'd be cutting a piece of green material, and that's uh, my piece of wood cut. Now the other thing that I can also use uh, this for is a drill that back off. I'm just explaining how you can use a pair of vice grips for a uh, yeah, cutting stuff. Work? Oh, your work's good. I've done it quite a bit. Okay, this is a, this is a drill. When your drill goes in here, similar type of thing again. Get it nice and tight. So there's your drill. Round and around and around. So you might... Um, Want to drill a hole in a piece of wood like this, and you can see that right. You start. Actually, I can't really do it without using both hands. Do you want me to hold it? No, honey, I don't, because you might hurt yourself on it. Once you get started, though, it's basically like this. Watch out for your nuts. Sorry? Watch out for your nuts. If you slip, it won't be very nice. You've already been born, sweetheart. They don't need to be used that much anymore. Okay, we're away. <laughs> Ooh. It's just a demonstration, but there's the uh, the holes already on its way through. So the handy thing, also handy for for holding stuff, like if you're building a hut, you want to hold a corner up while you're tying it up. That acts as a as a tool for holding stuff. I found a piece of that uh, gorse stuck in the fireplace there. Oh, I've got it all through my hands. I had to pick it off the tree. Okay. Light your match inside the pit. That way the wind will not blow it out so you have your hands right down low, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm going 
nice one. You want to start adding a few uh, thicker bits to that. That's working good, it's going straight up the chimney. How about that, eh? Well done. Awesome, mate. Now my rabbit is sitting over the chimney and it's getting also cooked and smoked at the same time. A lot of heat coming up there. In fact, you could probably pretty much cook it just over that. There's enough heat there, but it will take quite a while. It's sort of smoking it and cooking it. Look at that. It's looking really good. It's like real smoked tonight. Mm. So all the outside of this is now seared, and we can uh, now put it over the grill. I'm going to put this in here, put our rabbit on now. Whoa, it's hot. It's pretty quick. Just above the end is like so, which will go the legs. Man, it's got some heat. Cheers, What? Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, I can smell it. It's so good. This is bush tucker. You did a really good job today making this oven. Well done. Thanks. So, what would you rate that meat flavour wise? from 1 to 10, 1 being disgusting, 10 being fantastic. And think about it, be honest, give us an honest review. An 8. An 8, okay. 8.5? Yeah, I'd go an 8.5. It's pretty tasty. Yeah, try a bit, yeah. Just tuned a bit of that there. Just bite it off, use your teeth. Looks like chicken. <laughs> Cooked in your own oven that you made with your hands. Mm, quite literally. Yeah. So what do you reckon about that, eh? More tender? It doesn't have as much flavour as the other bits. No, it doesn't, but it's more tender, eh? That's because it's a support muscle and not a working muscle so much. I don't mind if it's chewy and tastes better, though. Mmm. I like the chewy bits here. Me too. Yeah. Well, folks, that's this week's clip. This is my daughter, Dayla, and she's been helping me all day today. Hope you've enjoyed it, as much as we have. Stay cool, be nice to each other, be good, and if you can't be good, be careful. <laughs> See you later.